Welcome to the Solid University channel. This video's topic is knurling. So knurling is essentially just a regular turning operation, but using a specialized tool, in this case, the knurling tool. Um, SolidCam does not have the ability to represent the actual knurl, but the program itself is essentially just a straight turning operation. So that's what we're gonna look at here. So I have a part here that has a knurl on it, and I've programmed it as a turning operation. So one of the things you'll notice when you bring in the knurled part is that your geometry, the turning profile, may have notches that might have come up from the, the parsing of the model. So if we kind of look at this from the side view, there's just enough of a gap there that it, part of the geometry included that. Now, I actually just jumped the gap there and I did a point to point from that first point all the way to the last point to kind of just jump some of those gaps. The gaps themselves are not even a big deal because as we've seen before, if we go to technology strategies, I can click on the non-descending motions anyway. So it'll, it'll just jump over those gaps regardless. But that is one way to take care of the fact that the turning profile may have some notches in it that are not necessary. Um, so this is a simple turning operation. Everything else that you've done in the past applies here. The only thing is I'm doing this as just a finish only. And under the semi-finish slash finish tab, I told it to do the entire geometry. So it actually just generated a toolpath regardless of the fact that there might not be any material left over to machine. The only difference here is I've defined a tool that essentially just represents the side profile of the knurling tool. You can imagine that from this profile, we're not gonna see the, the wheel shape of a knurl tool. We're just looking at it as just a cross section of it. Because again, that's all we need. We just need to represent that surface machining the part. And if we take a look at that in simulation, if I just step through the code, we'll see the wheel come down, engage the part, and it goes across, it is knurling the part. So again, inside SolidCam, we're not actually going to see the knurl. No knurl is present there but the toolpath will follow the dimensions of the tool as defined, and it'll actually generate a toolpath that will go across the part. The only thing you'll need to do in this case specific is make sure that you put in the proper fusion speed specific to your neural link tool. Any questions on this or anything else, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension two. You can submit your parts or your questions via the ticket system at telecamsupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos in the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.